One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. The link is in the description. All right, enjoy the video, guys. Okay, we're recording now. Okay, yeah, November 10th, 2020. Uh, we've already started talking about Anchored VWAP and I forgot to click record. So here we are. We're going to talk about the SPY. We're going to talk about Anchored VWAP. Everybody's average in this potential, in this particular case. Um, 297.50 is where everybody's uh, average is from for the most part. So simple moving average. I want to add three moving averages here. So why did I pick the 12 line on this day? Why? Because we opened well above the midpoint. We opened at 1280, nearly 13, and a $1 washout would have been straight to the daily chart level of 12 bucks. And it's a pivot point, which is the midpoint. We opened above the midpoint. And so I want to buy a washout. I want to buy a washout into these levels. All right. I want to buy a washout into these levels. We opened well above it. I want to buy it into this level here. If this level fails, my next target, 1057. 1050, 11 bucks. I am waiting down here because the odds that this bounces from here are extremely high. How do I determine the midpoint? This is an indicator. But if you want to know the math, it is previous close plus previous high plus previous low. Put all that into a parentheses. Divide that by three. That equals the midpoint. Okay. Easy math. Easy math. Uh, if you don't have pivot points on your thinkorswim, um, it's easy to get that. Uh, here are the pivot points. If anybody wants the script, there is the think script. You don't have trades. If you don't have thinkorswim, if you do not have thinkorswim, then uh, there is an Excel file in my trading basics series that I give out that all you do is plug in the prior day high, low, and close, and it gives you what the pivot points are, what all of them are, okay? And, and it will just ex expand from there, all right? So, hey, there it is. <laughs> now, when we take into this, so a lot of people have been DMing me. They're, they're like, well, what do you, how do I determine what my bias is today? Well, you determine what your bias is today based on where it's opening in relationship to the midpoint, okay? Are there pivot points for DOS? Absolutely. I'm the one that did the very first video on that. Batman. And we scroll on down to setting up lines and setting up lines for DOS Trader. And I'm going to paste that right there. Thank you. Come again. All right, folks, we're going to carry on here with our topic. So it depends heavily on where we are opening in relationship to the midpoint every single day of the week, all right? If I am still long biased, let's write out several situations. Let's write out some scenarios here, okay? If I'm long biased, what am I, what am I gonna do, okay? What am I gonna do in this case? All right, what I'm gonna do in this case, and we just, let's just write it, let's write it, and we'll draw it in here. Okay, so we have a situation like, uh, or let's just write it out. Fuck it, we don't need to draw it. We see it. Uh, 
I doing that? That's a pain in the ass. Okay. Um, long bias. Let's talk about long bias. All right. So <clears throat> question number one becomes where is the stock trading free market versus the midpoint? Point. Point. Sorry. Point. Okay. A. Are we above? B. Are we below? Next. If above, our goal is to buy a washout into technical support from the daily that aligns with a pivot. Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and moderators at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. Ideally, with the midpoint, otherwise called the pee pee. Hee hee. Sorry, I'm immature. Um, ideally, with the midpoint or the pivot point um, or S1. Okay, if it's opening below and we still have a long bias, okay, there's still a situation. I'm not telling you guys that you can't be long biased when it's opening under the midpoint, all right? But if it is below the midpoint, if it looks that it, it is going to open below the midpoint during pre-market, it's like, okay, it's gonna probably, eh, we're trading around, you're trading under the midpoint, then our goal is to buy a washout into uh, technical support, from the daily, okay, that aligns, we're just typing this again with a pivot, ideally with S1 or S2 now, okay? So now that we have S1 and we have S2, all right, but, but, but some cases could dictate using S2. Three or S four. Okay, S four has pretty good odds. S usually it's in a two line rule. Okay, in a two line situation. So I'm going to draw this, uh, and this is not going to be. I'm not going to do many drawings, but we're going to we're going to draw this out. So think of it like this: whatever line it extends to. Let's say that is this example. Um, new here, does Joe mainly cover large caps? Uh, in this webinar, yes, I cover large caps. On Wednesdays, I talk about small caps with Tosh. So, but this webinar is, is large caps. But if you wanna talk about a small cap, I'll talk about a small cap if you've got good questions. Otherwise, hold them to, to uh, Wednesdays. So S1, S2, think about it like this, okay? This is okay odds. It's okay. It's all right. We wash out to here. There's a decent chance of bouncing off here. I'm going to say it's about a 60% chance. Okay. Two out of three times we will. All right. It's an okay odds. All right. S2, much better. Much better. All right. The odds that it bounces off of this line are 80 to 90%, okay? This is if it opened below the midpoint? Yes, correct, yeah. Reason is, is now all we have to do is transpose these numbers over here, okay? They're just labels, right? They're just labels. It's a two-line two -line situation, okay? It's a two-line trade, which is what Bao does, right? He shorts into two lines. Let's say he's got the four line and the five line. 
he will short the four line and the five line, and he will only stop out of the, the lower shares that he shorted at four if it goes a well above five. Like if it breaks the second line by a lot, he's going to cut those first shares and so on and so forth. The reason being is there's a technical kind of it's it, it it's the stock want doesn't want to exaggerate itself all the time it wants to try to find this kind of happy medium so it wants to trade around an average situation yeah it says it'll be posted it has happened um and we will talk about that um how implied volatility can affect a trade and uh i'm gonna say two weeks uh but i get to get with Oren and see what he wants to do so that's that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to finish the rest of my guacamole before it turns brown. And uh, yeah, that's it. Um, and then I will let you guys know uh, if we're going to do a Dallas meetup. So have a great evening, guys. We'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.